Are you using your blogging site or website to track maybe sales, events, opt-ins, and all this, right? And somebody's asking you to put this JavaScript on every single one of your web pages. What? Hey, my name's Lamar Scholl. I'm from Having Success Online. Welcome to the video. I want to thank you for stopping by. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you exactly how to get this done. Don't worry. You don't have to be a geek. This isn't tech. If you got a WordPress website and you need to add JavaScript code or pixel code to all of your website pages, you could do it the hard way, which by the way, I'm not gonna even show you in this video because I don't like doing things like that. I'm gonna show you a super duper easy way to get this done. And what I'll do is show you an example of how to get, you know, I'm gonna use my example, but yours will probably be something different. But let's you and I not waste any more time and head right on over to you know where, the old back office of WordPress. Okay, so here I am in my WordPress website and I want to show you with the plugin how we're going to get this done and I'm going to take you step by step through this whole simple process. So the first thing you want to do is come down to plugins and click on add new. Now the plugin we are looking for, we're going to search for it over here on the right, has to do with scripts and styles. That's what it was right there. So let's type it in again and I'll try, there you go, scripts and styles. Okay, now once you get the plugin, this is it right here. You want to come over, click on the install now button. <laughs> And you got to wait for that. And then the next thing you want to do is click on that same button. Now that says activate. Boom. Just like that. So we're going to activate it. Now what you want to do is come down to your, this is all your installed plugins. So you want to come down and I'm just bring it up to the top of the page. So until you see scripts and styles, the next thing you want to do is go into the settings. This is where we're going to put our JavaScript that we need on every one of our WordPress pages. Now, in my case, what I'm doing is running Bing ads, right? Microsoft ads, I'm still old school. And I'm running traffic to my website pages. So Bing needs to have this thing called a UET tag, Universal Event Tag, in all my web pages. When I first heard this, I'm like, wait a minute what are you talking about no way am i going to be able to do this but look we got the plugin installed we're more than halfway there so check this out what you want to do is come over and click on the global tab right here boom now you have these two boxes here so the first box is what we call um, our head section this will put the script in our head section of every page now in my case, and with most things like tracking pixels or UET tags we're talking about, or remarketing pixels, like whether it's Facebook or Google, they wanna go into this first box right here. And that's what they're showing right here in this head. You don't even have to know what this even means, it's fine. But you want this code to run as soon as possible when that page loads. That's the idea. Now, there are some cases where you don't want code up in the head section, but you want it in this thing called a body section. And that's when you would use this lower box down here. Now, all we're gonna do is come over, or I'm gonna go over into Microsoft. So here's an ad I just got start running. I'm kind of doing some tests right now with it. But I'm gonna come over into my tools. So this is where you would be grabbing your pixel code or whatever code you want. I'm going to go into UET tag. And I'm going to, this is my tag I created already. So what I'm going to do, I forget even, oh yeah, all the way over here. I'm going to click on view tag. So this is the code right here, right? So see where it says script and it shows a slash script at the end. This is exactly what I want. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to copy that code because this, 
For me, this is what I want on every single one of my WordPress pages. Now I'm gonna come back to my WordPress website and I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna paste. That's it, right? That's all I have to do. So if you have a tracking pixel or whatever, this is what you want to add in there. Now, there are other options in here. There's quite a few. But all I want to do is just show you how to get that done today. And that's it. So I'm going to come down here and I am just going to hit Save Changes. Don't forget to go all the way to the bottom and click on Save Changes. So now what's going to happen is this is going to enter all that script on every single page when they load automatically for me. See how easy this is a great plugin actually to use. So if I kind of went fast, just kind of go back, just watch the video again. I show you how to install the plugin and where to set it. So you want to go under your global settings tab. There's, there's other ones out there. I also use headers and footers it's another free plugin it works just as well the reason why i chose this plugin is because now if you need a script not on every page but just a certain page or pages this is post as well pages or post you can lay down the script very simply with this plugin. So when you go back into here, let me take you back to my screen. I was going to end the video here, but I can see that you want to know how to do this. So watch, I'm going to show you. So there's, what I just showed you is how to add the script to every page. Now, let's say you have a script you need to add to do to just one page or a certain page or a certain post, right? So we can go in here. I'm going to just say we'll do post. We'll go on um, add new, right? Why not? So we're gonna do add new posts. We're gonna, there we go. So normally right here's where we put our title, all that jazz. Now what you wanna do is come down here. So here's the scripts and styles plugin. So this whole section right here is devoted to adding script code. So what you can do, again, it's just like a, what I showed you in the global section. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wanna do this here, but I'm just gonna show you. I can paste in my code here. So this would go into the head section for just this page only. So if you do have some tracking code or whatever you need to add for a specific page or post, that's all you have to do. So I'm just gonna undo that. You can also, like if you don't want it in the head section, like I said, if you want it in the body section, all you have to do is just paste it down here. Now this becomes part of this page. So this code will run every time, only when this page or this particular post gets loaded. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, can you subscribe to this channel here, the Lamar Scholes channel, and just hit that subscribe button do me a little favor let's keep the goodness going if there's any other wordpress plugins or wordpress i don't know topics themes i don't do e-commerce so i won't help you there i can't i don't know anything about it i don't say i don't mean i won't but if there's any th kind of wordpress questions or if there's anything i missed in this video if you want to hear some more of my dumb jokes you can watch this video again or any of my other ones all right i'll see you on the next one